Mara Brilliant Idea Written by Simone Egger Illustrated by Gus Gordon Chapter 1 Ocean Adventure If we can't go to the ocean, we'll bring the ocean to us, Eva said. I'll have you swimming before you know it, Mara. Well, okay, I guess. Mara replied. Let's go in now and change into our swimsuits. Eva dropped all of her new pool gear and followed her friend inside to change and get towels. Bilson, Mara's dog, trotted along with them as usual. You'll see, this will be fun, Eva said. When you get used to being underwater in your pool, swimming will be no problem. Once they were in their swimsuits, the girls headed to the bathroom for towels. Bilson followed them down the hall. But the bathroom was occupied. Fiona, Mara's older sister, was already in there. She's always in the bathroom, Mara said. She pouted her lips and pretended to put lipstick on, the way she had seen Fiona do it. The girls started to giggle when the door suddenly flew open. Fiona looked down suspiciously at Eva and Mara. What do you want? she asked through bright red lips. We need some bath towels, please, said Mara. Okay, but don't get into any trouble while Mom's out and I'm in charge. I've got better things to do than run around after you too. The girls grabbed their towels and ran outside to the small pool. Mara and Bilson leaned over the pool brimming with cool water. Eva unpacked her snorkel, goggles, plastic blue whale and starfish. Mara's brow crumpled and her eyes darted from the pool to Eva and back. Do you really think this will help me to learn to swim? Mara asked her friend anxiously. I feel very nervous. Of course it will, Eva replied. Just try putting your face in the water first. Before you know it, you'll be ready for the ocean. But this is just a small swimming pool, not the ocean, said Mara. You have to pretend a bit, Eva said as she dropped the starfish into the water. I've got an idea, Mara said, rushing back inside. Bilson looked after her and waited patiently. She returned with a tiny blue bottle held carefully between her thumb and index finger. It's food coloring, she said. Just a few drops should make it look more like the ocean. Mara and Eva poured every last drop of blue food coloring into the pool. Each brilliant blue droplet flowed through the water. In a few seconds, the pool water was as blue as a cloudless sky. At the pool's edge, Mara, Eva, and Bilson could see their reflections in the cool glassy surface. What a perfect day for an ocean adventure, said Mara, reaching for the goggles and snorkel. Chapter 2 Blue Water Mara's face tingled in the cool water. She kept her eyes squeezed shut at first and held her breath. Leaning into the pool like this, with the rest of her body still safely on land, she felt brave. She opened one eye at a time and saw Eva's whale float past. She imagined a real whale spurting water through its blowhole on the surface above. Then she let out her breath through the snorkel. Breathing steadily, she saw Eva's starfish drift down, like a feather, until it rested on the bottom of the pool. Suddenly, Mara heard a muffled splash and her calm, quiet ocean became rough. She still had her face in the water and thought she saw a dog. But a dog doesn't belong in the ocean, she said to herself. Bilson! Mara resurfaced and took off the goggles and snorkel. Bilson! What are you doing in there? An ocean is no place for dogs. Eva started giggling. He just jumped in, she said. At the sight of Bilson's little white head perched above an ocean of blue, Mara started giggling too. 
She turned to laugh with Eva. Eva looked at Mara and her eyes popped wide open. Eva gasped, like a fish out of water. What's wrong? Mara asked. Eva started to smile until she could not hold back the laughter any longer. Soon she was doubled over holding her stomach. What is it? Mara turned around to look at Bilson, then back at Eva who had finally stopped laughing. But when Eva looked at Mara again, she burst into shrieks of laughter. Your face, she managed to blurt out between breaths. It's... Well... It's blue. Mara ran inside and looked in the bathroom mirror. She could not believe her eyes. There was a blue face looking back at her. All blue, except for around her eyes where the goggles had been. I must have put too much food coloring in the pool. I look like a monster, she said to Eva who was standing beside her, looking at Mara's reflection. A monster from the deep, Eva said in a spooky voice. It's not funny. Now what am I going to do? I don't know, start eating sea-